Okay, welcome back to Half Men Up Tech, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben and I'm going to be your host. So a week ago, I actually said that macOS Pixel Beta 7 was going to be released today. And if you follow me, then that's something that you know. But if you don't, check this video out and you can quote me by my own words. So definitely make sure you hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest updates that we have for you. I actually checked my statistics and it says that over 93% of the people that watch me or watch this channel unsubscribed so please hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest updates that we have for you all right now for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp macOS pixel beta 7 came in as a large file if you go to the about section of this mac you can see that it came in at around 3.61 gig which is quite big and if we go to the storage section just to see how much this update is taken up it actually also increased in terms of the system storage being taken up by the update beta 6 was actually taken up 15.8 gigs and as you can see with beta 7 it's taken up 16.8 zero six gigs which is an increase of close to about 450 mbs now in terms of the new features and changes that we have here if you do have an iphone a macbook an ipad basically if you are in the apple ecosystem right you are you'll be happy to know that you know the automatic switching feature is now working so if you connect your airpods to your iphone and then you play a song on the macbook it will automatically switch to the macbook audio and then if you do something on the ipad the audio will automatically switch to that so that has been fixed on beta 6 there were issues with that but it's good that with beta 7 that that is now working also something else that change with this update has to do with the icons now if you go to the launch pad of your mac this is not something that you see easily but if you look at your dock closely you notice that the icons have been updated slightly and they have less shadows to them i don't know if i'm blind but i can sort of see it it's not something that you actually pick up i had to do some research to see this but yeah it's something that you would want to look out for if you take a screenshot of the before and after you update then you definitely be able to see this also something else that changed has to do with the apple t2 chip now if you have a device that has the apple t2 chip i believe for the macbook pro and mba is 2018 and above if you have that device and you set your startup security to no security you'll be able to actually download this update now apple t2 chip is good i mean it does enhance touch id but also it has some downside to it because if you have it on and set too high then that means that you know from time to time as your mac restarts or if you switch off your computer and restart it it will do like some sort of security check with apple system to make sure that you are running a legit os so if you are in a place where you don't have internet then you'll be stuck on the verification page when you restart your Mac. So that's why some people actually turn off the Apple T2 chip startup security by rebooting into safe mode, that is command R. So if you have that turned off with this update, you are now able to update to macOS Pixel Beta 7, which is good. Also with this update, I mean, I used to have 4K video on Safari. I believe it's on Beta 5, but with this update and on beta 6 that feature has been removed so i was actually checking if i still have 4k video i spent the last two hours trying to see what are some of the new features and changes that came with this update and 4k video safari is nowhere to be found even on beta 7 now this is on the 2016 15 inch mbp and if you have the same mark let me know if you have 4k video safari because apparently for me i don't have it i don't know where it went to also the SMB connection bug that quite a number of people actually experienced and you know complain about has been fixed with this beta 7 so if you're having connection when it comes to your SMBs then with beta 7 that has been fixed. Third party extensions actually are now working so if you do use Canon then your third party extensions with beta 7 are now able to run and work seamlessly upon restarting your Mac of course so you have to update and restart your Mac again so that these third party extension will be able to work with the canal update that came with beta 7. Spotlight search has also been updated with beta 7. Now on beta 6 there was a bug whereby for certain widgets and also application you had sort of like had to run the widget and the application in order for you to be able to search it up and find it using spotlight search but now you don't need to do that anymore with beta 7 you can now easily find applications using spotlight search without having to open the applications unlike beta 6 which is good 
when using the weather widget and you select the location settings you put it to my location it now will display the correct weather information in the location that we will be at so before on beta 6 it would sort of switch back to Capetina. i don't know why i was doing that but with beta 7 that has been updated on next code you are now able to run mac catalyst apps and also ios apps more seamless and better compared to what we had on beta 6 so it's good that that has also been updated also if you're experiencing the grayed out date and time menu bar bug then that has been fixed and the, i noticed that the way they resolve this is by moving the dock and menu bar to the menu bar clock so that has now been fixed it's something that was there i believe from beta 5 to beta 6 but with beta 7 no more now this update has about 12 known issues that were resolved and 14 issues that are still there i did look at some of the issues and i have to say that they look pretty okay nothing major nothing that seems like it's going to break or break your device or set it into a boot loop so it's good some of them have to do with you updating from beta 2 of macOS pixel or beta 3 you'll be presented with like a large update size file but if you want to really see the update file or or size that you are getting if you are on beta 2 and beta 3 and are updating just go to the more info section and you see like the correct portrayed update size that will come in for you if you are updating from those betas to beta 7 on your mac now keep in mind that of course since you are coming from an earlier beta version and going to a newer beta version your update size might not be 3.61 gig it could be more or less depending on you know if you have a higher mac or a lower mac so just keep that in mind and now when it comes to battery performance actually i haven't really had time to use it on battery i updated like two hours ago and until now it's actually connected in and you can see that you know i haven't yet unplugged it i've been trying to dig out and find new features and changes for like the last two hours so battery wise i would do that in a follow-up video but performance wise i have to say that so far it looks okay and i think that if you are on beta 6 and are thinking of updating to beta 7 then it's a good move i mean you're already on the beta already so that shouldn't hurt you so much but now if you are on catalina or are afraid of updating to the beta 7 that we have then i think that's a smart move it's not good to update yet some of the issues and bugs will actually review themselves with time so i will do a follow-up video with that and also with regards to battery performance now when it comes to the gm version or the next beta i sort of feel like we have like a beta that is still to come which is beta 8 and then we'll get the gm version because there's actually an apple silicon mark that is in the works and apparently this apple silicon mark could be released when the new iphones come out in october so that is when we expect macOS Pixel to be officially released to the public. And when that Apple Silicon Mac comes out, expect macOS Pixel, the official version or the official public version to also go live with that. Now, that's about it for me when it comes to the next beta update. Hopefully from now on, we can move on to like weekly updates because now it's been like two weeks, two weeks. And, you know, iOS 14 is now getting like updates every day. So macOS Pixel is like so delayed but hopefully from now on we see weekly updates this is something that i've been uh, trying to call out for but apparently it's sticking to the two-week cycle so i don't know if anyone's hearing me but anyways that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like down below and hit subscribe and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace Actually, I'm about to record iOS 14.2, which just came out. So stay tuned for that. Hit subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you just shortly.